All right, guys, so we got James on the scuffing pad. Now, a lot of you guys will ask, you know, what I do to prep cars. Honestly, this is probably one of my biggest secrets to production and keeping the speed of these jobs quick. If you have a car that's painted like this and somebody's simply just going for a change of color um, and the panels are in good shape, no chipping, no rust, no nothing like that, you can literally scuff paste a whole car in about, I'd like to say, an hour and a half to two hours. If you're James, probably only in about an hour because he's got a lot of experience. If so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the rest of this thing all scratched up. We got some of the body work done. Came out decent, it's not perfect. Had some bumps in that rear bumper. Big dent there, that, that body line, I couldn't get that perfect. Big dent on that door, a couple dings. So we're gonna let James work his magic and then we'll get back to you guys for tape. The next day, um, decided to go ahead and just wait it out through the next day to go ahead and paint because it was really late last night when we got done taping this thing up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay a nice two coats of jet black base and kind of use that as like a ground coat slash sealer for this car. And then after that, we're going to take a dark cherry red metallic, throw that over the black. We'll probably do one nice wet coat and then one control coat, kind of like a mist coat just to get everything nice and even. For the clear coat, you guys already know my clear coat choice for all over jobs. The SMR 1100 outperforms anything else that I've ever used. You have to be careful, but the method that I use, it's very unconventional. A lot of guys disagree with me, but my results prove otherwise. Um, one sobbing wet coat. Turn that fluid, that nozzle out on your clear coat gun. Lay it on there super wet. One coat, and this stuff looks amazing. So our jet black laid out, super smooth, super slick. We got a nice sealed off clean foundation to go ahead and put our color over. Right, so I was in a pinch and I got some really, really cheap base coat. We'll see how this stuff works. This is uh, Starfire. Um, it's, it's got a decent thickness to it. it. They definitely did thin it out a little bit. The color looks really, really good. I mean, that's a really nice cherry metallic red. It should look nice.